Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to look at how to add acoust IDs or acoustic identification to tracks or songs on Music Brains. Now, this is a release that I just added, um, and let's just have a let's have a quick look at your most common reason for adding them in the first place. Let's uh, minimize this. Put Music Brains Picard here. Um, this is a, a tagging software and uh, this uses Acoust IDs to identify tracks. So again, I've I've got the CD and I just added it to Music Brains, and now I've um, made a copy or ripped the files inside it. And they don't have any artist information. Everything's unknown. It's got the track number and length. What that means is that look up, searching this the way we usually would, or in any other situation trying to identify it. It's not going to work. We've got no information to work with. So what we can use instead is scan. And now what it's doing is it was searching. It was listening to the track, listening in air quotes. It was listening to the track, trying to find the same Acoust ID in the database. Uh, it's not in there yet because we haven't added it, uh, which is what we're going to do now. So you do need Music Brains Picard to add these. So after you've installed Music Brains Picard and you're logged into Music Brains, you're going to see Submit Acoust IDs is grayed out. And um, to be clear, if you're a beginner or you've got a massive library and you're just dragging it all in, don't enable this. Um, things can get messy really quickly. Uh, you might have a song that came from a compilation or a live album that's tagged wrong, you got it off the internet. We don't want to submit those. We want to be pretty precise with our Acoust IDs. Um, it's not the end of the world if something doesn't have an Acoust ID. It is useful. So to enable this button, we just have to go to Options at the top here. We're going to go to Options. And here we go. We're going to go to Use Acoust ID. So here under Options, we're going to go to Fingerprinting. And then we're going to click on under audio fingerprinting, use Acoust ID. Now, uh, that's not everything that we need. We can ignore all this, but we do need an API key. So we're just going to click here. I'm going to click Get API Key, and it's going to pop up this window. Now, I am logged into Music Brains already. You're going to want the uh, account Music Brains, or one of these at the others, but probably Music Brains. So just click on that, sign in. Now it's uh, requesting permission to view our account information. It's going to click Allow Access. And here we go. Now it's just uh, generated me an API key. Now I'm going to be generating a new one after this video because you don't want to give this uh, or ever really with any, any program. If it gives you an API key, keep it to yourself. You don't want to get in trouble what other people end up using this for. So I'm just going to copy that out. Again, wouldn't usually show it to you. We'll do it here, and I'm going to paste it in here to API key, and then click or click on Make it so at the bottom. And now it's still grayed out, but we're going to hit Scan, and then we've got it's generated it. Now we can't submit it because it doesn't know. Uh, where to submit it to. We haven't connected this, it's still just all unknown. Now there's a few different ways to um, to find this information. One thing I can do here is I can go album and I can uh, type in, I know it's called best pants, I'm going to do search. And now it's, uh, here we go, it's come up at the top actually. What we can tick is this little green tagger button on the right. Tick that. Uh, and now it's appeared on the right here. There's a few other ways to populate this. We could also uh, look up in browser. Now what this means is uh, if we refresh any, uh, any page, we can just browse the site as usual, but now it's added this little tagger button. See this at the top right? We can click that. And on any album, let's try it. Let's pick a random album. From the, uh, new, new releases here. Here we go, tagger. Anything we click there. Going to get added uh, on the right here. So these are um, albums from the database. You see this matches two tracks. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to drag this cluster here 
uh, in a cluster is usually an album or a single or a click onto uh, S Pants over here and it's automatically, we're going to double check, yep, uh, track number one is match track number one uh, and the track link matches and that's the main thing. And now this uh, Submit Acoust IDs button is no longer greyed out. It's because we scanned it before and that means we generated an in, uh, in Acoust ID and we've matched it to the database so we know where we're sending it to. And again, you want to be careful. Um, in this case, I know that this is the CD, same release. If you're not sure, don't submit. Submit. There we go. And now we double check over here. But we've closed all this. Uh, let's just refresh this. And we're going to go into one of these tracks. We're going to go into Best Pants. Then we're going to just have fingerprints. And here we go. We can see that the Acoust ID has been submitted. Um, so let's go back into the card and let's, uh, let's unmatch these. We'll drag them back into the left. We'll I hit cluster them into their folder group. I'm going to try scan again. Here we go. And now scan just without any any information, still everything unknown, it has matched the tracks. Now it's not a it's not perfect. Acoust ID will um uh it's on purpose a little bit fuzzy. And what that means is that uh if your track has uh it's a high quality file or a low quality file uh, Acoust ID is going to ignore some of those differences because it's still the same song. So it tries to um, ignore slight variations in quality, uh, but that can also mean that it might not pick up on different uh, a different recording. So it is good to double check what it matches to. Uh, the other thing is it only checks the first two minutes of a file. So uh, you might have a two minute introduction to a song that's always the same, but then another version, you know, uh, one's an instrumental and one isn't, but the first two minutes always instrumental. Uh, it's gonna have the same acoust ID. The other thing to watch out for is, um, you know, seconds of silence at the start. Uh, you know, that shifts the, the whole uh, kind of algorithm, the, mu the musical hash gets shifted over, and that might not give you the same result as well. It's important again double check everything before hitting that submit button and also when scanning and pressing save.